vascular resistance refers to the resistance that must be overcome to push blood through the circulatory system and create flow. The resistance offered by the peripheral circulation is known as the systemic vascular resistance or may sometimes be referred to the antiquated term total peripheral resistance, while the resistance offered by the vasculature of the lungs is known as the pulmonary vascular resistance. Systemic vascular resistance is used in calculations of blood pressure, blood flow, and cardiac function. Vasoconstriction increases SVR, whereas vasodilation decreases SVR. Units for measuring vascular resistance are dinozark mar 5, pascal seconds per cubic meter or, for ease of deriving it by pressure and cardiac output, it can be given in a HGA minute per liter. This is numerically equivalent to hybrid reference units, also known as wood units, frequently used by pediatric cardiologists. To convert from wood units to per SM3 you must multiply by 8, or to dinozark mar 5 you must multiply by 80. Calculation of vascular resistance The basic tenet of calculating resistance is that flow is equal to driving pressure divided by resistance. Where, R is resistance, IP is the change in pressure across the circulation loop from its beginning to its end, Q is the flow through the vasculature. Equal systemic vascular resistance calculations equals, the systemic vascular resistance can therefore be calculated in units of dinozark mar 5 as where mean arterial pressure is two-thirds of diastolic blood pressure plus one-third of systolic blood pressure, or diastolic plus one-third, systolic diastolic. In other words, systemic vascular resistance equals ATX, mean arterial pressure, mean venous pressure or CVP, slash cardiac output, mean arterial pressure is most commonly measured using a sphygma manometer and calculating a specialized average between systolic and diastolic blood pressures. Venous pressure, also known as central venous pressure, is measured at the right atrium and is usually very low. As a result, it is sometimes disregarded. Equals pulmonary vascular resistance calculations equals, the pulmonary vascular resistance can be calculated in units of dinozark mar 5 as where the pressures are measured in units of millimeters of mercury and the cardiac outputs is measured in units of liters per minute. The pulmonary artery wedged pressure is a measurement in which one of the pulmonary arteries is occluded, and the pressure downstream from the occlusion is measured in order to approximately sample the left atrial pressure. Therefore, the numerator of the above equation is the pressure difference between the input to the pulmonary blood circuit and the output of the circuit. The above equation contains a numerical constant to compensate for the units used, but is conceptually equivalent to the following. Where R is the pulmonary vascular resistance, IP is the pressure difference across the pulmonary circuit, and Q is the rate of blood flow through it. As an example, if systolic pressure, 120 mHg, diastolic pressure, 80 mHg, right atrial mean pressure, 3 mHg, cardiac output, 5 liters per minute, then mean arterial pressure would be, slash 3 equals 93.3 mHg, and systemic vascular resistance, slash 5 equals 18 wood units. Or systemic vascular resistance, 18 x 80 equals 1440 dinosecond per centimeter 5. These values are in the normal limits. Regulation of vascular resistance, there are many factors that alter the vascular resistance. Factors that influence vascular resistance are represented in an adapted form of the Hygiene Euro Poiser Ewell equation. Where, R equals resistance to blood flow, L equals length of the vessel, I equals viscosity of blood, R equals radius of the blood vessel, vessel length is generally not subject to change in the body. In Hygiene Euro Poiser Ewell equation, the flow layers start from the wall and, by viscosity, reach each other in the central line of the vessel. But according to Thurston, there is a plasma release cell layering at the walls surrounding a plugged flow. It is a fluid layer in which, at a distance i, viscosity i is a function of i written as i, i, and these surrounding layers do not meet at the vessel center in real blood flow. Instead, there is the plugged flow which is hyperviscous because holding high concentration of RBCs. Thurston assembled this layer to the flow resistance to describe blood flow by means of a viscosity I, I, and thickness I from the wall layer. 
the blood resistance law appears as R adapted to blood flow profile. Where, R equals resistance to blood flow, C equals constant coefficient of flow, L equals length of the vessel, I, I, equals viscosity of blood in the wall plasma release cell layering, R equals radius of the blood vessel, I equals distance in the plasma release cell layer, blood resistance varies depending on blood viscosity and its plugged flow size as well, and on the size of the vessels. Blood viscosity increases as blood is more hemoconcentrated, and decreases as blood is more dilute. The greater the viscosity of blood, the larger the resistance will be. In the body, blood viscosity increases as red blood cell concentration increases, thus more hemodilute blood will flow more readily, while more hemoconcentrated blood will flow more slowly. The major regulator of vascular resistance in the body is regulation of vessel radius. In humans, there is very little pressure change as blood flows from the aorta to the large arteries, but the small arteries and arterioles are the site of about 70% of the pressure drop, and are the main regulators of SVR. When environmental changes occur, neuronal and hormonal signals, including binding of norepinephrine and epinephrine to the I plus or minus 1 receptor on vascular smooth muscles, cause either vasoconstriction or vasodilation. Because resistance is inversely proportional to the fourth power of vessel radius, changes to arterial diameter can result in large increases or decreases in vascular resistance. If the resistance is inversely proportional to the fourth power of vessel radius, the resulting force exerted on the wall vessels, the parietal drag force, is inversely proportional to the second power of the radius. The force exerted by the blood flow on the vessel walls is, According to poiser uil poiser uil equation, the wall shear stress. This wall shear stress is proportional to the pressure drop. The pressure drop is applied on the section surface of the vessel, and the wall shear stress is applied on the sides of the vessel. So the total force on the wall is proportional to the pressure drop and the second power of the radius. Thus the force exerted on the wall vessels is inversely proportional to the second power of the radius. The blood flow resistance in a vessel is mainly regulated by the vessel radius and viscosity when blood viscosity too varies with the vessel radius. According to very recent results showing the sheath flow surrounding the plug flow in a vessel, the sheath flow size is not neglectable in the real blood flow velocity profile in a vessel. The velocity profile is directly linked to flow resistance in a vessel. The viscosity variations, according to Thurston, are also balanced by the sheath flow size around the plug flow. The secondary regulators of vascular resistance, after vessel radius, is the sheath flow size and its viscosity. Thurston, as well, shows that the resistance R is constant, where, for a defined vessel radius, the value I, I, slash I is constant in the sheath flow. Vascular resistance depends on blood flow which is divided into two adjacent parts, a plug flow, highly concentrated in ABCs, and a sheath flow, more fluid plasma release cell layering. Both coexist and have different viscosities, sizes and velocity profiles in the vascular system. By combining Thurston, and poiser uil poiser uil equation, Blood flow exerts a force on vessel walls which is inversely proportional to the radius and the sheath flow thickness. It is proportional to the mass flow rate and blood viscosity. Where, F equals force exerted by blood flow on vessel walls, Q equals volumetric flow rate, C equals constant coefficient of flow, L equals length of the vessel, I, I, equals dynamic viscosity of blood in the wall plasma release cell layering, R equals radius of the blood vessel, I equals distance in the plasma release cell layer or sheath flow thickness. Equals other factors equals, many of the platelet-derived substances, including serotonin, are vasotilitary when the endothelium is intact and are vasoconstrictive when the endothelium is damaged. Cholinergic stimulation causes release of endothelium-derived relaxing factor from intact endothelium, causing vasodilation. If the endothelium is damaged, cholinergic stimulation causes vasoconstriction. Adenosine most likely does not play a role in maintaining the vascular resistance in the resting state. However, it causes vasodilation and decreased vascular resistance during hypoxia. 
adenosine is formed in the myocardial cells during hypoxia, ischemia, or vigorous work, due to the breakdown of high-energy phosphate compounds. Most of the adenosine that is produced leaves the cell and acts as a direct vasodilator on the vascular wall. Because adenosine acts as a direct vasodilator, it is not dependent on an intact endothelium to cause vasodilation. Adenosine causes vasodilation in the small and medium-sized resistance arterioles. When adenosine is administered it can cause a coronary steel phenomenon, where the vessels in healthy tissue dilate as much as the ischemic tissue and more blood is shunted away from the ischemic tissue that needs it most. This is the principle behind adenosine stress testing. Adenosine is quickly broken down by adenosine demonis, which is present in red cells and the vessel wall. Systemic vascular resistance equals effects of systemic vascular resistance on the body equals a decrease in SVO will result in an increased flow to tissues and an increased venous flow back to the heart. An increased SVO will decrease flow to tissues and decrease venous flow back to the heart. Pulmonary vascular resistance The major determinant of vascular resistance is small arterial tone. These vessels are from 450 a micrometer down to 100 a micrometer in diameter. Another determinant of vascular resistance is the precapillary arterioles. These arterioles are less than 100 a micrometer in diameter. They are sometimes known as autoregulatory vessels since they can dynamically change in diameter to increase or reduce blood flow. Any change in the viscosity of blood would also affect the measured vascular resistance. Coronary vascular resistance, the regulation of tone in the coronary arteries is a complex subject. There are a number of mechanisms for regulating coronary vascular tone, including metabolic demands, neurologic control, and endothelial factors. Local metabolic control is the most important mechanism of control of coronary flow. Decreased tissue oxygen content and increased tissue CO2 content act as vasodilators. Acidosis acts as a direct coronary vasodilator and also potentiates the actions of adenosine on the coronary vasculature. References Fuster, B. Alexander, R. W. Uck, R. A. Hurst's The Heart, Book January 11th edition, McGraw Hill Professional, Medical Pub. Division. Page 513. ISBN 978-0-07-143224-5. AB Table 30-1N, True Diegoas. Washington University School of Medicine Department of Surgery. Clinton Smith, Mary E. Lian Chen. Sean C. Glasgow. The Washington Manual of Surgery. Philadelphia, Walters Kluwer Health Lippincott Williams and Wilkins. ISBN 0-7817-7447-0. ABCD derived from values in Dyna 2nd per centimeter 5, University of Virginia Health System. The Physiology, Pulmonary Artery Catheters, ABCDEFGB Thurston. Viscosity and viscoelasticity of blood in small diameter tubes, Microvascular Research 11, 133-146, 1976, Cardiac Output and Blood Pressure Biosp. Retrieved April 7, 2011. Measurement of real pulsatile blood flow using X-ray PIV technique with CO2 microbubbles, Hanuk Park, Ianzi Opium, Sungjun CO. J. Hong Nim and Sang Jun Li, Nature, Scientific Reports 5, Article Number, 8840, DOI, 10.1038-SREP08840. Majugator H., Peters B., Lefit S., AL Assessment of Adenosine Induced Coronary Steel in the Setting of Coronary Occlusion Based on the Extent of a Pacification Defects by Myocardial Contrast Echocardiography. Angiology 54, 443 euro 8 doi 10.1177/0003319703054004008 literature 1 grossman w bain d grossman's cardiac catheterization angiography and intervention 6th edition page 172 
Tabby 8.1 ISBN 0-683-30741-X2 Heart Information, Systemic Vascular Resistance See also, Hemodynamics, Blood Pressure, Adenosine, Perfusion, Cardiac Output, Vasoconstriction, Vows Adlation <laughs>